you're all my children now. How's it going, everybody? Michael Blake here, and you're watching Rambling Movie Takes. Coming at you with a movie review for the 1996 horror movie, Scream. Or should I say, horror classic. Scream is one of those movies, man, it, it's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. You know... Oh, I've been I've been waiting to do this review for a very very long time to talk about this movie to get my thoughts on it. It is one of my favorites of all time. It is a movie that holds a very special place in my heart, and really, it's one of the horror movies that I think honestly made me the horror fan that I am today. So, with that being said, let's get to it. Scream, directed by Wes Craven, rest in peace, is a horror movie that came out in 1996 and essentially brought back and in many ways reinvented the slasher genre after several years of mediocre sequels to established horror classics from the 70s and 80s. Scream is a movie about the small town of Woodsboro who, after the murder of two high school kids, is sent into a frenzy as the authorities rush to figure out who is behind the killings. Never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. Get another beer, you want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. All right, so like I said, Scream is among my favorite horror movies of all time. It is a movie that I absolutely love so much. It's a movie that I hold very close to my heart. I love this movie. For everything that it is, as being like this, this meta self-aware movie you know it's just it's just awesome the character of ghostface is so terrifying in my opinion like as simple as the character is and the character really is very simple i mean there's a reason why you can find a ghostface costume in, in your local uh dollar store you know it's a very simple generic costume but it's about who is behind the mask you know, that's what makes the character so scary is because, you know, you're presented with all of these characters from the start of the movie to the end. And you just don't know who the character, you just don't know who's doing the killing. You have no idea who it is. And that's what makes it so terrifying is that it can be, it can be this person. It could be that person. It could be anybody. And that that's what makes these, these movies work for me you know, all of them, but especially the first one, because the first one, you know, you're presented with, you know, all of these different characters that could very well be the killer, you know, is, is it Billy Loomis, is it Stu, uh, um, I forget his last name, Ma, what, I can't remember, but, um, or is it David Arquette, you know, is it his, uh, his, uh, Dewey, you know, is it him, the Officer Dewey, you know, is it, is it Gail Weathers, you know, who, played by Courtney Cox. You know, you have all of these all of these characters that it could be and it, it ends up being, you know, who you do not expect it to be. So, at least, you know, if you're like me anyway, but some people would tell you that it was pretty damn obvious who the killer was or killers were. Now, this is a non-spoiler review. I'm not going to get into, you know, the spoilers because, well, I kind of want to keep it short and just pretty much just cover the basics. I want to tell you enough to try to get you to watch this movie instead of just telling you everything in case you might want to check it out. But, but yeah, like, I would say this movie in particular, Scream definitely played a big part in making me the horror fan that I am today because you know I, I guess it, it just came out around the center I can't tell you. it came out at the right time you know where my my horror fandom where or where I was starting to come into my horror fandom like really good like I've been watching movies ever since I was like horror movies ever since I was like five or six but I didn't, I mean, look, I'm 33 now, so when I saw Scream, you know, I was like, I, my math ain't good, I'm not a mathematician, uh, 
I believe I was around, um, I, I believe I was around like 10 or 11. And that's when I saw Scream for the first time. And by no means was it the first horror movie I had ever seen. But it really worked for me when I saw it. And, and get this, all right? I used to go, I used to go to the local video store. I live in, I lived in a very small town, you know, still do, but you know, we didn't have a blockbuster. We didn't have like any of the big major chain video rental places. So, you know, we had this mom and pop video store, which very small, but they always had the, um, the biggest movies, the biggest releases, the new releases. They, they always had those. So it's not like I was missing out on anything. But the problem with this place in particular was that because it was so small, they would run out of the new releases relatively quick. So I would find myself renting the same movies over and over and over again. And one of those movies that I rented over and over again was Scream. Scream and Halloween H2O. Those two movies, I rented more than anything else, you know, back in the late 90s, early 2000s. So, so yeah. So, like I said, this movie holds a very, a very special place in my heart. You know, I think this movie has some of the best characters in all of horror movies. Sorry about the noise, if you can hear it. Live very close to the road, and this place isn't exactly soundproof. But as I was saying, I think this movie has some of the best characters in any movie that I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of movies, so for me to say that is a big, major compliment uh, to this movie in particular. And, you know... It's also directed by the legendary Wes Craven, who is known for A Nightmare on Elm Street. He's known for The Hills Have Eyes. He's known for Last House on the Left. I mean, Wes Craven has done, he, he has made, he has directed some of the best horror movies, some of the most iconic horror movies ever put on screen. And Scream, you know, from my understanding, he didn't actually want to direct Scream. He he wanted, you know, to get away from horror. He was at a weird place in his life where he was tired of doing horror. He wanted to do something else. And they ended up pulling him in um, and, and they got him to uh, direct the movie. Thank God, because I can't imagine anybody else doing it. And I'll tell you, that is something that really worries me about the upcoming Scream movie is the fact that Wes Craven will not be directing it. It'll be the first Scream movie not directed by Wes Craven. So it's like, it's okay, it's not going to have, you know, his thumbprint on it. You know, it, it, he, he's not going to have anything to do with this movie, you know, because he's he, he tragically passed away, you know, can't even produce it, you know, be a consultant or anything. So it's completely in the hands of other filmmakers who have never made a Scream movie before. So that's a little worrisome. But, um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. You know, the Scream 5 is going to be from the filmmakers of Ready or Not, which if you have not seen that movie, I cannot recommend it enough. And I definitely believe if anybody can get the tone of a Scream movie right, it is those people. Because they... Man, they knocked it out of the park with Ready or Not. But anyways, I'm, I'm getting off topic, whatever. But uh, but yeah, check out Ready or Not. But anyways, so, you know, I don't know what else I can really say about Scream. You know, it's just, it's just a very fun movie. It's a fun horror movie. And it's a movie that throws you for all kinds of twists and turns. Like, you think you know who the main star of the movie's going to be, and, you know, it ends up being somebody else. I guess that's kind of a spoiler in its own, in its own right, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, I guess, I guess you're going to get a minor spoiler there, you know. 
the whoever you think is going to be the main star of the movie is not the main star of the movie. So, but that's all I'm going to say about that. This movie has some of the most grisly death scenes, man. Like some of the most glorious, horrific death scenes of any horror movie I have ever seen. Like, no lie. Like the, the, the I mean, like the, the garage scene, the, I mean, like I, I said, I wouldn't get into spoilers. You know what? I want to go ahead and I'm going to get into spoilers a little bit. So if you don't want any spoilers, go ahead, click off now. Thank you for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So, um, yeah, minor, minor spoilers here, you know, like the garage death, you know, the, the, um, the, you know, Eh, trying to like talk about all this stuff my mind gets jumbled but but yeah that that scene you know with um with tatum you know she's going up on the <laughs> on the garage door because she couldn't get through the small door the doggy door or whatever like how stupid do you have to be but anyways and we all know that that would not happen in real life but still really cool scene and yeah, really cool how it played out you know, and also, like, the deaths at the beginning of the movie, you know, like I said, spoilers, Drew Barrymore, you thought Drew Barrymore was going to be, like, the, the main star of the movie, and she, she gets killed off right at the beginning, she's the second death in the movie, the first one was, uh, Steve, her boyfriend Steve, you know, he got gutted, and I'll tell you, man, that shit is brutal, and, on top of that, like, her death scene, you know, she got stabbed to death, got her throat crushed, and then got hung on a freaking tree. Like, man, for her parents to see, mind you. I mean, come on, man. Like, yeah. But I guess that's all I'm going to say about the deaths. I mean, those are like the, I think, the most uh, gruesome deaths in the movie. But there's a lot of gruesome deaths, so, yeah, anyways. But, uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen the movie um, and you stuck around this long, I gave you a warning, but, um, but yeah, again, I can't recommend this movie enough and I'm sure many of you that are watching right now, you've seen it and you appreciate it every bit as much as I do. And I felt that this was the perfect movie to kick off Halloween Horror Month with. And, uh, yeah, so you know, as for my rating, you know, I would give this movie a four out of five. I love this movie so much, and I can find little fault with it. Like, it's just, it's damn near perfect. It really is. It's damn near the perfect horror movie. It's intelligent. It's funny. You know, it's, it's, you know, brutal. I think it's everything you want in a horror movie. I think it's, any, it's everything that I want in a horror movie and more. And that is why it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's the review. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. And if you will, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. It would really help the channel. You're the real MVP. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one. I'm Michael Blake, and this has been Rambling Movie Takes. Bye!